What is the electron geometry and molecular geometry of CO2 or carbon dioxide? So the first thing you need to do if you're going to determine the geometries would be to write or draw the Lewis structure of the molecule. So I have drawn in the board the Lewis structure of carbon dioxide. The next thing you need to do is to count the number of atoms bonded to the central atom and the number of lone pairs on the central atom. So as you can see in the Lewis structure, it is pretty obvious that the central atom in carbon dioxide is carbon or C. Now let's count how many atoms are bonded to the central atom. How many atoms are bonded to carbon? We have one, two atoms bonded to carbon. So we put two. Next would be to count the number of lone pairs on the central atom. Pair means two. So one lone pair is composed of two non-bonding electrons. If you have the Lewis structure, the lone pair is seen as a pair of dots. So for example, in the Lewis structure of carbon dioxide, the dots around oxygen are lone pairs. Now, count the number of lone pairs on the central atom. Do you see pairs of dots around carbon? There is none. So there, there is zero lone pair around carbon or around the central atom. Now I have attached a table that summarizes the electron geometries and molecular geometries. So based on our answers from the previous steps, we have two bonded atoms to the central atom and zero lone pairs on central atom. Now look at columns three and four. Column three would be the number of bonded atoms. So we have two and number of lone pairs in column four would be zero. So two, zero. The electron geometry is therefore linear and the molecular geometry is also linear. So the answers to the question are linear and linear.